Welcome back, baseball fans, to the 69-72 Carryover League. Another interleague battle between Cleveland and Pittsburgh. This has been a year of disappointments. One on a large scale and one on a small scale, but both disappointing. Let's look at the standings right now. In the American League North, the Indians beat Pittsburgh in Game 1 at home to improve to 6-14, and 14, which is pretty awful. They've just had a disastrous year, but they won Game 1, so good for them. And the Pirates, they lost Game 1 of the series, um, and they're 10-12. and 12. Not disastrous, but for a Pirate team that was touted as a World Series team, to be two games under 500 is a little startling. Clearly, clearly a bunch of underachievers in Pittsburgh, where today's game will be played. Before we get to that game, I gotta bring up the box score from game one of this series. In Municipal Stadium in Cleveland, the starting pitcher for Cleveland was Ray Washburn versus Steve Blass for the Pirates, and it took 12 innings before somebody got a run. One nothing final in 12 innings when uh, with the runners on the corners, they hit a ground ball to first base with now Oliver. He couldn't get a glove on it and was ruled a single. That's your game. That's all it took to win game one. Pretty feeble effort, really, on both teams. But Cleveland was the winner. So in game two, here in sunny Free River Stadium, the Tribe will send Steve Hargan to the mound. And Pittsburgh will send Bruce Keeson. Cleveland, uh, if they get a 2-0 series sweep here, will be the, considered a uh, their their own personal World Series since their season has fallen on hard times. But it'd be nice to see the Cleveland win a series. And for the Pirates, at a certain point, you expect this team to start ripping off 10 in a row or something, but it could be today. Duke Sims leads it off. 39 is a walk. Ray Fossey, 1-7. That's a 5-4-3 double play. Chris Chambliss, 2-8 Ks. Rennie Stennett now moved into the leadoff spot where Alou was, singles. Alou, now batting second where Stennett was, 39, pops to first. Clemente's been batting third, fourth, and fifth in various spots. He's pretty had a good year, though. 1-6. Let's take a look at Clemente here. Triple and 18. That is a triple, and the Pirates have a lead. Bob Robertson now batting cleanup, since Willie Stargell's really struggling this year. Bob Robertson, 2-11's a walk, and here is Willie Stargell, who's had a horrific year at this point, hitting a buck something with one homer, one RBI. Willie Stargell. 3-6 is a single to center field. That'll get a run in. Robertson holds a second. Hebner, 1-7. Let's take a look at Richie Hebner. 1-5. It is gone. Three-run bomb, and the Pirates might have finally juggled this lineup. This is their best inning all season, I believe. They finally have figured out how to bat all these great hitters. The correct sequence, perhaps. Manny Sanguin grounds the third, and with two outs, Al Oliver flies the right. Five nothing. Tony Horton in the second. 56 is a K. Beta Pinson lines a short. Buddy Bell flies the center. Gene Tornado Alley, 68, lines a second. Granny Stennett, 64, catcher's card. Uh, Fossey's a 187. And Matty Alou pops the first. We'll go to the third. Dave Marshall, 35. Dave Marshall. Homer 1 8 on his card. Let's take a look at it. Fly ball to right. He missed his one home run shot. One of the guys taken in the token round of the draft. Literally, Cle uh, Cleveland was just looking for a, a left handed hitting left fielder, and they found this guy. Look like it's worth. Eddie Leone, 67 is a K. And Fred Stanley, 34, flies to right. Keeson is uh, uh, got a no-no through three. Clemente, 39, is a K. 
Bob Robertson, two fives, a K. Willie Stargell, two fives, a walk. And with two outs, Richie Hebner. Same roll before, same result as well. Homer, one to five on a one seven, and he rolls a three. Both times he did it. Exact same number on the 20 sided dice. So we hit the uh, one out of four shot back to back at bats. Seven nothing. Manny Sanguin, 66, pops the first. Duke Sims, lead off the fourth. Okay. Ray Fossey, left. Chris Chambliss, 2 8, is a K. Bottom of the fourth. Al Oliver, 3 6. Let's take a look at our Oliver's card from 1969. Just getting started with his career. Homer 1 7, double. Gene Alley, short X. Fred Stanley's a 3 E22 at short. Makes the play. Rennie Stennett, 2 3. Rounds the third. Matty Alou, 512, second X. Leon's a 3 16. Makes the play. We'll go to the fifth. Still 7 0. Tony Horton, 510. And there goes Homer 1 14. Off the Keeson card, there goes everything. There goes your shutout and your no hitter. A solo shot for Tony Horton, and it's 7 1. Beta Pinson, 410. Center X. This is Al Lou. It's a 2. Makes to play. Buddy Bell, 39, pops to third. And with two outs, Dave Marshall, 53, rolls to first. Bottom of the fifth. Roberto Clemente, 1-5. What a great card. What a great guy. Homer, 1 of 17. It is gone. Bob Robertson flies left. Willie Stargell, 56, second X. Second base win is Eddie Leone, a 316. It's a cheap single. Richie Hebner, 4 4. It is unbelievable. Richie Hebner, bat me sixth, Batman. That's where I thrive. Richie Hebner, 4 4 off the Hargan card for the third straight time. Two run blast. We have a three run homer and a couple two run homers for Richie Hebner through five innings. My goodness. Sanguian grounds a third. And now Oliver flies a right. Well, we'll pull Hargan after five. <laughs> kind of looks like we'll be going back to Cleveland after this. Eddie Leone, it's now 10 1 in the sixth. 68. Single one of fives, a line out. Fred Stanley, 37 to K. And Duke Sims, 66, is a liner to short. 10-1 Pirates going to the bottom of the six. But first, let's pause a moment for station identification. This is the Shrimp Trawler video channel. Este es el canal de videos de camaroneros. Okay, Hargan's gone. Look at Denny Riddleberger here. Old Denny. Denny Riddleberger will come in in the sixth inning. He'll face Gene Allen. 35 is a K. Rennie Stunt. 47 is a single. Mayalu, 1 7, is a single to center. 2 1 for Clemente. 2 4, flies to left. And with two outs, Bob Robertson. 56 is a walk. Bases loaded, two outs for Pops Stargell, who's 2 for 2 plus a walk today. 38 off his own card. Let's take a look at his own card, and you'll see why it's been such a disappointing year. He just demolishes right-handed pitching. It's very scary. I mean, you don't even want to be on the on-deck circle when this guy's swinging. Uh, base is loaded, two outs, a 3-8 against the lefty, is double one to two, fly ball to right. And typical for this season, he just misses it with a three. So he flies to right. Tough break there. 10-1. Keeson in the top of the seventh against Ray Fossey. 2 5. Homer 1 3. Fly ball. Chris Chambliss flies left. Tony Horton 2 11. Grounds a second. Stretch time here in Pittsburgh. We're listening to the Intruders Super Hits compilation off of the Gamble label 73. Love is like a baseball game. There you go. And the Pirates are feeling that love. In the bottom of the seventh, Riddleberger will go another one. 
It's Richie Hebner looking for his fourth consecutive home run. 65 off the Riddle Burger card is a K. Tough break there. Sanguian 36, Homer 1 to 7, double is a double. Now Oliver 35, 1 to 19, it is gone. The Pirates in one in seven innings have changed the look of their season suddenly. Gene Alley, catcher's card. And he's out on the catcher's card. And Stennett. 46, double 1 of 4 is a base hit. Alou 37 is a sky to center field. 12 to 1. I think we're going to have um, Rich Nye, the science guy, finish the last. Here's Rich. Get the last two innings done. Get this guy some work out of the bullpen. Veda Pinson, 38, bounce to first. Buddy Bell, 1 7, double 1 to 10, double. Dave Marshall, 48, single, dot, dot, scores the run. Andy Leone, 65, center. Number two out, Stanley, 45, second. Uh, we'll go Eddie Watt in the eighth inning in a 12 2 debacle. Eddie Watt against Roberto Clemente, 54, pops to second. Bob Robertson, 310, K. Okay. Stargell, 1 4, oh sorry, yeah. couldn't get Hebner another chance for number four of the game. All right, Niall try and finish this. Duke Sims, 2-2, two, two, lines a second. Fossey, 2-11, grounds a short. And Chambles, 1-7, double one attends a single. Tony Horton, 3-6. That is a Tony Horton homer, and it's now 12-4. Pinson, 2-10, single. And Rich and I cannot get this game over with. Buddy Bell, 1-6, triple one single. That's a triple one. Triple one single. My goodness, 12-5. After the one nothing shutout in game one in 12 innings, my, le my league ERA went down. Now with 17 runs here, it's going to go right back up. Dave Marshall, 311. He grounds the third. Finally, we're done here. In three rivers, Pirates even the series up with a 12 5 win. What a debacle that was. But more importantly for the Pirates, they have a batting order now. Now I know where to put their guys. I'm going to kind of stick with this lineup for a while. Rich Nye came on in the eighth inning and gave up six hits and four runs. That's why he's strictly a mop-up guy. Yeah. Keeson gets the win. Uh, solo One hit was a solo homer. A walk and six strikeouts. Eddie Watt struck out two. Real Burger, one, two, three, four, five hits and two runs. A walk in two Ks and everything else charged to Hargan, which would be 10 runs, my goodness. Nine hits, 10 runs, because literally these home runs brought everybody in. No left on base, look at that. 10 or, ten or earned, walk two, struck out two. So you got 1, 0, 9, 0, 1, 0, 8, 12, 14, 5, 7, 1, 6, 3, 6. Let's look at the composite box for the two teams. Disappointing year in Cleveland continues. They still can win a series, though. Be nice to win one of these. But if you're the Pirates, you're thinking you gotta you gotta wipe the floor with the Cleveland. And you can't afford to lose as badly as they played. So the Pirates improved to 11 and 12 now. They're hitting 276 with a 397 ERA. So with a with a nice game out of Stargell, year to date. He's 15 for 79, which is 190. So after that nice game he just had, it brought his average up to 190 with two homers and six RBIs. And Richie Hebner has four home runs on the year, and you just saw three of them, so there's that. The other team, the, the Tribe, 6 and 15. They're hitting 240 with a 467 ERA. There is no bright spot to look at on them. And the year to date now, we've played 298 games. The league is hitting 261 with a 394 ERA. Thanks for checking out the video. We'll see you next time.